The owner of an ice cream stand conducts a random survey of 50 people to determine which ice cream flavor customers prefer to buy. Mmm. The bar graph. Oh, these should be about ice cream bars because it's a bar graph. <laughs> Uh, below shows the results of the survey. So we have chocolate, mint, chip, pistachio, why, vanilla, or other. Uh, so, you know, quick looking at this, 50 people, we can say something like, I don't know, like 18 of them chose chocolate and five of them chose pistachio, so on and so forth. The ice cream stand is expected to serve 350 customers. Okay, so I can link 50 to 350. Uh, on the first day of summer. Based on the results of the survey, which value is most likely the number of customers who will buy the ice cream flavor other than chocolate on the first day of summer? All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at my original picture here. Chocolate, if I'm gonna compare like this graph right here to this, it looks like to me that chocolate's going to be 18. Okay, that's what it looks like, chocolate's 18. Now, in order to find the others, I can either add these up, or if I know that there were 50 people surveyed, then the others is going to be 50 minus 18, which is 32. Now, this is 50 people. I'm expecting 350 people. 350 people is seven times 50. So 32 times seven, is going to be what I should expect, the amount of people that will get the other. So 32 times seven off the top of my head, I think is 224. And that's the obvious guy right there. So that's D. So that's what I'm going with. I'm, I'm sticking to it.